Welcome back to What Arty Noobs for General Disturbance, and this is a Sexton 1, the premium SPG, uh, the tier 3 British premium SPG, and we're on the south spawn of Lakeville. Now, the commander of this very rare vehicle is Comrade Sergei, and he's a member of What Arty Noobs, so I'm looking forward to seeing how the Sexton 1 compares against other tier 3 vehicles. Now some of you might have uh, purchased the uh, Sexton 1 on uh, console, but uh, on console it's an American SPG. I mean, in actual fact uh, they were built in Canada and uh, sold mostly to the United Kingdom, but the Americans did pick up a few. Okay, it's five one round out there straight away. It's got a uh, hundred rounds of HE, 12 rounds of AP. Okay, you can see a Lux has appeared on the Lake Road. Okay, he's still looking for a target counter battery wise. Now the enemy RT in this case, I think is a Let's have a look. It's a T-18 HMC. That's the American Tier 3 uh, SPG. The one with the 76mm uh, gun. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, RT. It can, it's got a, uh, a very good range. So, um, yeah, he might want to uh, focus on the tanks rather than on the T-18 because it needs a direct hit to actually do a lot of damage. IKV-72 receives a direct hit. 18 hit points of damage, which is quite nice. But he's loaded. Another round out. It's the great thing about the Sexton one. It has got a pretty good reload. But the reload's almost the same as the, um, the one on the um, standard Sexton 2. Okay. Strips farm M40. Oh, that was a direct hit right into the side of the turret. No survivors on that one. Beautiful shot. Okay, Sav M43. They're, they're scurrying for cover now. And that uh, T28 didn't... He's gone as well now, right into the side of him. He backed up too much. Made himself an obvious target. Right, Type 91, the other side of the valley. Oh, just over the top of him. But, yeah, I'm sure he's going to get him again because he's almost reloaded, dialed in. Oh, and the target's gone before he can fire. That's so unfair. He would have got a certain kill there. Okay, but we've got a Panzer 38 T. He's halfway up the hill, but he's obscured by the rock. So we're not going to be able to hit him. But, uh, and we can't hit the Sav while he's siding behind, hiding behind that rock. But we can hit the T-18 who suddenly appeared. And it looks like he's gone into TD mode. Rounds out. Direct hit, he's gone. 110 hit points. Really good shot. Okay, that Panzer 38 T is running now. He's got behind the rock. He's scared. Okay, if he pokes his head out, rounds will go into him. Nope. Uh, that was a bit of a premature shot, that one. Oh, and he's been taken out now. So there's only one enemy tank in the valley. That's the Sav M43. The rest of the enemy vehicles are capping. And there's a BT-7 Art now, that dangerous uh, Tier 3 um, Soviet uh, tank, which has actually got an artillery gun instead of a, um, an ordinary gun. Very dangerous they are. Well, looks like he got a hit there because there was no explosion when the round went in. Fires another round in. No, I think that BT-7 Art's pulled away. Now, he's assuming that they're going to be behind the church. That's a, that's a good assumption because they normally are hiding just in behind there. Oh, we can't see anything at the moment. Nope, they've stopped the cap. Now, I suspect they've stopped the cap because they want to kill all. So it's a cap all, uh, ca <laughs> no cap kill all mentality. There's only four left on um, uh, Comrade Sergei's team. Um, so he's effectively gone to shotgun mode as well, temporarily. Nope, now he's back to overhead view. And they are capping again. In fact, there's three, no, one in the cap so far. 
lining up a shot on that Seb M43. It's not the same one that was in the valley. Uh, that's the one in the valley has now been seen. There's the BT7R. Oh, he did take a big hit when uh, he was the last hit. He's only got 44 hit points left. Dialing in the aim perfectly. One round out. Dead. Got him. Okay, can't get the Sapphire 43. We don't need to. The Cruiser 4 took him out. Okay, there's still that one tank in the cap. But since this isn't a counter battle, it's, uh, it's a long time before the cap will complete. Okay, fired a round in because he's got plenty to spare. Um, but he is guessing at this point where that uh, tank is. Much easier to go to TD mode and drive in and shoot the person in the face. We don't know which tank is uh, capping, but we can make a guess. It's probably the M3 Lee or the Cruiser 2. Or no, it can't be the Cruiser 2 because that's in sight. So it has to be the M3 Lee. Because we can see all the other ones. And he's got the Cruiser 4. Now, can he get the Cruiser 2? Last seen in this position, but that's behind a house. So not going to get that. All right, there's the Toldy. He can't hit that because of the rock face. I think he's going to have to drive in now. Somebody's going to have to go into the cap. Yeah, somebody's going to have to move because uh, they're going to have to get a reset. No, that's just going to hit the house. We're supposing that the Cruiser 2 is still there. Of course, there's no guarantee he is. He may have moved. There he is. Okay, he is behind the house, but not behind the house we were firing at. He's behind the other one now. And if he pokes his head out, we might be able to shoot him. We can shoot him now. Ooh, wasn't loaded. Is loaded now. Rounds out. No, it lands in front of him. Go on to battle assistant view. Dialing in the aim again. Almost ready. Rounds out. And a kill shot. 46 hit points, and that's his sixth kill, so he's got a top gun. Okay, now he's going into overhead view again. They've got the advantage now. It's four against two. Just the Sav M43 in the valley, as far as we can tell. And it looks to me like Comrade Sergei is going to make move into the uh, town. If that Sav M43 is still in the valley. He's rather lonely. Okay, the Marder 38T appears to be staying behind. Although he's pointing his gun in the direction of the town. Okay, it's everybody go into the town as quickly as they possibly can. By the most direct route. Because we've got a tank to kill. And that's uh, that M3 Lee. Must be the M3 Lee. Can't be anyone else now. Yep, there he is. He's been spotted. And he's been taken out. That means the only remaining enemy tank is the Sav M43. Last reported in the valley. All on his own. He's got two kills, that Sav M43. So he's not a bad player, but uh, he is rather alone at this moment. And everyone's pining into the cap because they want this to be over fairly quickly. It's possible the Sav M43 is on his way here already to the cap. But uh, I think if he's seen the, um, um, the M3 Lee die, he's probably thinking, oh, well, it's the last stand then. It's just me. The cap will complete fairly quickly with three in the cap. Fired around in. So the thing, good thing about the Sexton ones, you do get plenty of ammunition, plenty to spare. Still no sign. No, I think we're we're going to cap out on this one. Fifteen seconds to go. I don't think the Sav is going to come in. Which is a bit of a pity, really. 
I always like these uh, last stand jobs where you uh, try. Oh, he has tried. Oh, that's good. Okay, he's coming in. He's going to try and... Oh, but it's too late. Base is captured. He just arrived just too late. He's the other side. But he's lost. Okay, let's have a look at the end of uh, battle stats. Well, it's an ace tanker for Comrade Sergei in the Sexton 1. He also picked up a top uh, bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got ten in that battle. And he picked up a top gun because he got uh, at least six kills. And we can see, yep, six kills. That's what he got. Okay, team score-wise. Well, he did the highest amount of damage, 696 hit points. He got the highest number of kills, six. And he got the second highest base XP of 638. He fired 25 rounds, got 8 direct hits, 8 penetration, damage of 696 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He hit 7 of the enemy, but killed 6 of them. He also stopped 6, uh, or managed to get rather, 31 capture points. Uh, on a standard account, he received 17,895 credits. And after ammunition resupply, took away 15,820 credits. He received base XP of 638. But it was times three for the first victory of the day and a bonus because the Sexton 1 is a premium vehicle. So he took away 2,297 credit uh, experience points in total. So well done there, Comrade Sergei. Uh, another ace tanker for you. Uh, I'm sure you enjoyed that battle because uh, you were certainly uh, uh, piling into them on the val in the valley. Um, and uh, it was uh, very worthwhile getting a quick uh, a top gun. Um, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in our next video.